It was a night just like any other. The festival of the Lost had just started. It's been interesting so far. Spent a lot of money getting, uh... New guns. New things to wear. And then all of a sudden, next to, uh... Eververse. It's a lonely robot. Went over and talked to her. Turned out her broom was missing. Well, there's only so many robots in the tower who could benefit from a broom like that. So I figured the private eye was on the case. I went and talked to Cade first. Cade knows everyone in the city. He always talks about uh, great adventures, things he's pulled off in the past. Naturally, he didn't give anything up. So I had to apply a little pressure to him. Yeah. Get him a little scary here. Walk up to him. You have something for me. And just snap my neck backwards. All the way around. And then vomit all over him. But I didn't have any food though, so no vomit came out. He told me. Well, first off, his mask was ridiculous, and I told him so. He told me. Banshee had always wanted a broom. So of course, next step was to go back upstairs and talk to Banshee, but Banshee was gone! Seems he already stuck out of town. He left a note saying, hey, I totally didn't leave that broom down at a bar. And I didn't believe him, I bet he did. So I went down. All the way down to the bar. Only degenerates and non light individuals head down to this place. And occasionally, an engineer to fix the jukebox, which never plays anything good, except occasionally some drum beats or some beatboxing. Doesn't make any sense. And this is the part of the joke where if I could, I'd pick up the broom, but I can't. But imagine I did, and then. All of a sudden, I realized I've always wanted a broom. What's one sad robot versus my own desires? Find out next week in T Rex Noir. New series. Every Tuesday at 6. I was the thief. I lied. See, you all thought I was gonna do Thriller Night. Nah.